Hi everyone, welcome to Happy Hot Home. Let's go shopping. I thought it would be fun to take you along on a shopping trip with me to Hobby Lobby. I love going up and down the aisles through their seasonal decor looking to see what they have. They always have a great entertaining section of plates, bowls, cups, fun patterns, things for the kitchen, things for the dining room, and it's just always great to look at all of the colors and take it all in. As you can see here, this season they have a lot of yellows and greens and oranges and just a lot of things for the kitchen or for Thanksgiving. One of my hard, steadfast rules is that when I am shopping for seasonal decor, I love to shop early. To get the best picks, you have got to shop very, very early. And this is especially important at Christmas time. I'm going to take you into their Christmas section after we go through the fall decor, but I wanted you to know what is available right now, and if you wait too long, this will all be gone. Lots of great things to choose from to set your Thanksgiving table, lots of bright colors, and at the moment everything is 50% off. Look at that huge selection of pumpkins. Oh my gosh, just about any color you can think of, any decor. Oh. I just passed one that I think I'm going to pick up. It ended up in my cart. But look at all of these. There are just so many different textures and colors from which to choose from. It is just a great place to shop for pumpkins. These little smaller pumpkins are great as vase fillers and you can just combine the colors. Look at a lot of those pastel colors. If you have a neutral color palette, they would work great in your home. But it just goes on and on, all of the types of pumpkins that they have. And these are beautiful. These are new this year that I don't remember seeing last year. And oh, those pillows, love those pillows. Those ended up in my cart. Aren't those magnificent? Yes, but those velvet pumpkins, I love those. Um, so that is a new item that I definitely did not see last year. Lots of great fun pillows to choose from. Now we're going down the aisle of picks if you like to make wreaths. These are always great to put into your picks. And as you can see, there's just so much to choose from. I mean, there the 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 supply is endless. So moving on to the wreaths. Again, everything is 50% off. Wreaths and garlands. Look at all those beautiful colors for your table. If you are thinking about you know, Thanksgiving, this is the time to go get something when it's 50% off and you have a great selection. It is by far my favorite time to shop. Yep, the Christmas trees are out too. And look at these prices. They're 50% off. I mean, look, you can get a $900 tree for $450. If you guys are in the market for trees, this is really a good time to shop. I love these little elves. I have quite a few of them. They're just so fun. And what I like about Hobby Lobby is the way they divide everything into colors. And I just love that. Moving on to all of the essentials to hang lights, um, bulbs, extension cords, all of that stuff is out right now. Garlands, tons of garland. Um, they hadn't put everything out, but there were still a few empty spaces, but look at all that garland to choose from. Just about any color palette, greens, whites, frosting on the garland, just so much to choose from again this is my favorite time and i did buy several things i will show you my cart at the end of the video wreaths great time to buy wreaths if you like to make your own lots of items available to make your own again all the christmas decor is 50 percent off 
and everything also is divided by color palette. I did a rose tree last year and it was beautiful. So this is the rose gold section. And then we move over into just a white tree. I've done an all white tree before and moving into the silver section, white and silver is just a beautiful combination. Moving over into some um, garland that you can wrap around the tree. Moving into greens and very, very whimsical colors to add to a tree, just to have so much fun decorating in just about any type of style you can imagine. Moving over into black and white, lots to choose from there. As you can see, a few things are still empty. I got there very early, but I'm crazy about ribbon, so I love having very, very early dibs on ribbon. And I stock up and I hoard ribbon every year. I have so much, but when I see a beautiful ribbon, I just like cannot pass it by. So moving on to all of the Christmas picks. These are always a great addition to add to your tree um, to try to fill in gaps and spaces. I use them a lot. I generally tend to use picks from the floral section more than I use these. These are great when you make wreaths or for other little odds and ends around the house. But when I am putting picks into a tree, I like the longer ones but lots of variety and lots of things to choose from. Look at all of those. They have colors in teal, and again, can't stress, everything is 50% off. These bottle brush trees are great to decorate with all over the house. And Santas, I love Santas. I love his different robe colors and the burgundies. If there's a blue one, it's coming home with me. I love Santa's. The ribbon selection is one of my favorites. Um, I recognize a lot of stuff from last year. Uh, I did do a uh, blush tree last year and I bought some blush ribbon last year. But I do recognize a lot of the very same patterns. I didn't see anything that stood out to me as a must have. Um, but again, I have a lot of ribbon and it has to really strike me as something that I don't have for me to buy it at this point. Lots of Christmas trees to choose from to decorate with. I did notice a lot of um, new different types of trees. These look, I don't remember seeing those last year. Those could work for, for Thanksgiving as well with having the fruit and the pine cones on them. And here are gifts to, faux gifts to put under the Christmas tree, just some faux presents um, just to decorate with, not really to wrap or anything like that. Bells to decorate with. Um, I love these. These are bell ornaments and they do make a sound. So those are great to you know put on a Christmas tree for a large Christmas tree because they were rather on the large side. But a lot of this is a lot of this section right here now is is wood woodsy, you know, for a little bit more of a rustic decor if that's the look that you're going with. Santas, more Santas. I love Santas. Decorating with Santas. Nutcrackers, those are always so fun. They remind me of my childhood. My mom was very big into collecting nutcrackers. I always think of her whenever I see nutcrackers. They are always just a fun home Christmas decor. So this is what I really came for. This is what I came for and I left with so much more. I'm starting a project in our theater and I came for some um, gold paint and I found the color that I wanted in antique gold. It's coming home with me along with so much more. While I'm here, let's look through the fabric section. I do love looking at the flannels to see what they have and see if I could make a tablecloth with them. 
These are great. Um, those are more of like a, you know, a pottery barn, uh, farmhouse style fabric if you're looking for. Hobby Lobby does have them. And we are back to looking at fall decor as I move through the store. And now we are heading into the fall floral section. So many colors, very, very vibrant, bright colors. Bright yellows, bright orange, bright burgundy, bright rust, a lot to choose from. And what I like about a lot of these is that they are in bunches. And I do like to shop for florals in bunches and then either separate them or keep them together. But you can see how much there is to choose from. The, it, the aisles just go on and on. These are picks to make an arrangement. Oh, I did get some of those. I'll have to show you. Those ended up in my cart. And a lot of the florals, um, floral stems were 50% off, but the regular stems are not. So I looked at these. These are, this is an example of the bunches that I'm referring to. And just grouping, if you get like three of those and you group them together in a vase, it just gives you a very full arrangement. This one I liked and I considered getting um, but in the end, I did not. So this section is the bouquet section and the floral section, but it's not seasonal. So I like looking through this as well because lots of times you can find things to add to your seasonal decor. Seasonal decor. But a lot of this stuff is for weddings and such and is not for a specific holiday. But look at this, to, you know, to use for a wedding table if you're having a wedding at your house to line the tables in just like light pale pinks or greens of course there are more vibrant colors as well a lot of these remind me of Easter, some Easter colors and some red white and blues you know, which are very patriotic colors you know great for 4th of July so in this section you'll just find a little bit of everything and all different colors but again not particularly seasonal and yep this is looking to be my cart yes i did end up with some ornaments for my blue tree and i am excited to get that project started but first i am going to be taking a lot of this stuff stuff home and fixing up my foyer so I hope you will join me for part two of this video and see how I take a lot of the things that I bought today and give my fall foyer a little refresh. Thanks all. See you soon.